Hey guys, Slice them here, getting ready to do a beginner's guide on leveling up champions and what to look for. Now, what we're going to do is take a look at what it takes to level champions up and some neat little things you want to look for as you move forward in the game. Here on our home menu, you're going to click your champion button. It's going to take you into your roster. Now, starting out, you're going to have a lot of one stars and two stars. Occasionally, you'll run into a three star. Sorry about that, didn't mean to click on my falcon. Just wanting to scroll down and get down into my two stars to give you an idea of what you'd be looking at as a beginning player. So here we go. As you can see, there's some one stars along with some two stars and a three star. So first, let's take a look at this X-23 Wolverine. You'll notice that that character has two gold stars. Those two golden stars simply means that this character has yet to have been duplicated. The character is next to it. Cyclops has the double gold or silver stars. Those silver stars mean that it has been duplicated, so the signature ability is awakened. That signature ability is what allows him to open up different aspects of the game to that character, typically increasing their strength. Uh, with that being said, moving back to Wolverine X-23, as you can see also here, underneath them is a number. That number is their prestige. Inside the game, that's what ranks where they are and uh, their usefulness. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that that character would win against a higher number or win against a lower number. But that's just kind of the game's ranking system. So as you can see, Wolverine X-23 is ranked 254. That number goes up as you continue to level that character. So don't let that number be uh, something that you stare at and say, oh, well, this character is better than so-and-so. Uh, to give you a, an example, Wolverine is an excellent character that's got a great skill set with bleed and regenerate but has an extremely low prestige in the game. So prestige is not the end-all, be-all, but it is something that you do have to pay attention to and it's something we'll touch on a later date and time. But for now, let's go ahead and focus on leveling up. By clicking on the character, you hit that upgrade button. Once you're inside the character, this is what you're going to see. Over to the left, you'll notice that it does have the name of the character along with the ranking. Uh, 254, that's the prestige. Next to it, it says rank 1, or it has a 1 slash 3, that's your rank. Uh, down below, level 2 out of 10. So because we're in level, our rank 1, you can run this up to level 10. Uh, the idea is to simply get that number all the way up there so you can upgrade her to the next rank. Uh, those gray ISOs are your generic ISOs. Okay, This gold one, as you've seen, that I just clicked on, that is class specific. It runs right back to the mutant class. Um, so that helps us out. And again, this gray is a generic. So what you want to do is anytime you have a class specific type ISO, you want to use that in leveling up as it does bring you the best bang for the buck. Uh, and as you'll notice, it shows 325. Yet when I click it, as you can tell here, it obviously gives us way more than that because of the class bonus for using it for the same class. Um, so the yellow is for mutants, the light blue is cosmic, red for skill, green for science, purple mystic, and then you've also got uh, the darker blue for tech. All right. So guys, you want to pay attention to that because that's going to get you the best effect for what you're doing. So in this case, my goal here is to simply level X23 up to the point that I can get her to rank or to level 10 which means she'll be available to be leveled up to rank 2. Um, so at that point, what you want to do is simply cl click on the best combination that you can come up with that's going to run that character to uh, level 10. Now, with that being said, you do want to be aware of how much ISO you're spending. It makes no sense to take and put yourself well over the number to put him on level 10. Uh, what I advise doing is getting it to level 9, and then at that point, selecting the ISO that's going to get us as close to level 10 with barely going over as possible. So you'll notice here, we're going to select a lot of generic uh, ISO that's going to turn around and put us 12 points shy of going to level 10. Uh, at that point, we can then decide which way we're going to go about it. There is a generic uh, ISO that is a 75 point ISO. It's the cheapest ISO in the game. So at that point, that's what we're going to do. So clicking those ISOs, leveling her up, takes her to level 9, 12 points shy. We're going to click up here in our little stash box. That's where it holds all of your extra ISO. And we're just going to scroll down. There's the level set, or the 75-point uh, ISO. 
And this is what you're going to typically see as a beginner in the game. You're going to get a lot of these 75s, the 125s, and occasionally you're going to get a 525. Uh, the other thing you might see from time to time is, as you see here, that green uh, ISO for 200. That's a small Tier 1 class ISO, and that's going to give you a good bang for the buck. But again, you're mainly going to see these generics. So with that 75, pushing X23 up to level 10, she's now available to rank up. Um, so you've got two major ways of, of leveling. You have levels and ranks. And as you can see here, once a character is ready to rank up, you do have to scroll back up. And let's go to the top here. But those characters set at the top. So when a character is ready to rank up, they're going to be at the top. They're going to have a blue arrow, meaning I have the supplies needed to rank them to the next rank. Uh, so again, those are things that you need to look for. So let's hit upgrade. And here you can see, in order to rank her up to the rank 2, I need two of these Tier 1 Basic Catalysts. Well, where do you get these, you might ask? Well, that's a great question. These are the simple things that you're going to need to take and be able to level your characters up and then rank them up as well. Uh, obviously, the Catalysts are more so for ranking. Uh, your ISO are for leveling. So that can be a little confusing at first. Sometimes you may ask, what's the difference? Leveling up is moving them through the levels. The rank up is taking them from one rank to the next. So knowing that we need the catalyst, the next thing that we need to do is where do you get it? So to get it, a lot of times what you're going to do is go to event questing. So if we go here back to our menu, hit our fight button, over here to the far left you have your event quest. All right, and right here, daily proving grounds. Guys, this is where you find your typical catalyst. These are all your very generic, very basic catalysts. Uh, they are not your class catalyst, so that's where you're going to go. You have three ways to go, easy, medium, and hard. The easy, as you can tell, is your class one, and there it is, tier one basic catalyst. So just for completing it, you're guaranteed to get one. So go there, you complete that, there's your tier one catalyst, and at this point you would go back to your roster, find the character you're looking to level up, and let's scroll down here. All right, we click on X23. We hit our upgrade. We've got the supplies we need. Simply hit the rank up button, and at that point, it's going to take her from that rank one up to that rank two. And again, as you can, all right. Now as you can see, you hit the rank up button here. She goes from rank one. Now she's going to be rank two. At that point, you also notice that it says level 1 out of 20. Because you're on rank 2, the levels top out at 20, just like a rank 3 character tops out at 30, rank 4, 40, and rank 5, 50. So at that point, you, you want to take a look at that and run your character to those levels. Um, once they're level 20 out of 20, she'll be ready to go to rank 3. Um, nothing changes. At this point, it's simple. Rinse and repeat. As I click on the mutant ISO, you can tell it still does far better than a generic. Uh, you still get the class specific. So use your class with your class. Use your generic when they're available. Folks, it doesn't get any easier than this. Just pay attention. Try to maximize your ISO the best that you can because early on. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe. Tell your friends about it. If you got anybody new to the game, feel free to send them my way. I'd be happy to answer any questions. I'm always looking for video ideas, so don't hesitate to give me any uh, thoughts. With that being said, enjoy it, the game. Welcome to it. I hope this has helped, and uh, hopefully you can stick around and play. Great game. Enjoy it. Don't let it get underneath your skin. Again, best of luck, and uh, until next time, take care.